Jason LeDuc, back with you here with more tips on how to be the kind of leader you always wish you had and how to be that kind of leader for your team. Today, we're going to be talking about personal branding for leaders, why it's important, and how to cultivate your personal brand to help move your career forward and, more importantly, help your team succeed at what they're trying to accomplish. Now, I know you're already saying, why do I need to worry about a personal brand? I'm not a social media influencer. I'm not a content creator. I'm a manager. I'm a supervisor. I'm an executive. I'm an aspiring leader in my company. I want to focus on my job. I want to do a great job. And I want to help the company succeed. And that's great. And that's all true. But there's a really important thing to remember, that there is a way that you're perceived by your team, by your boss, and by your peers. And that's largely based on your words and actions, which is great because those are two things that we can pretty much always control. What's important to know right now about your personal brand as a leader is that it's how you stand out from others and what makes you memorable in your job and your industry. And it's not just about your accomplishments or the impact you've made. It's also about how you interact with other people. If you take nothing else away from this video today, I want you to remember that how you are seen and remembered by others is a direct reflection of your personal brand. So at this point, I hope I've convinced you that it's important for as a leader to be conscious about our personal brand. And you're probably asking, how do I set my personal brand up for success? Well, I'm glad you asked. The most important thing when it comes to our personal brand as leaders or our reputation or whatever you want to call it is that we maintain authenticity. A lot of leaders develop a really negative personal brand because the things they say don't match the things they do. So what we're going to do as leaders before we even start to promote our personal brand is make sure that that personal brand, that reputation matches the things we say and do every day. So to get yourself started on being conscious about your personal brand as a leader, I want you to focus on three areas. The first one is values. Our personal values, our professional values, and our company values. In a perfect world, those all match, and we make our decision based on those all matching, and we tell our team what to do based on those values. Now, that's not always possible, so what we want to do if there's ever a conflict between values or we're in a dilemma or we have to make a choice, we want to communicate very clearly to our team what values we focused on, what we prioritized, and why and how we made the decision we did to show that we are living up to the values we've agreed to live up to. The second area I want you to focus on for developing your personal brand as a leader is expectations. How we set those expectations, how we communicate those expectations, and how we hold others and ourselves to live up to those expectations. And really important with expectations, we want them to be achievable, but we still want them to be challenging. We wanna be raising the bar on what we're doing. That's what leaders do. We move the ball forward. We push things forward. So make sure that when you're setting expectations, both for yourself and others, that they are achievable, but also still challenging. Third, standards. As leaders, our job is to set standards and to help people maintain standards. So it's very, just like expectations, it's really important that we communicate what the standards are, how we expect people to live up to the standards, and what will happen if they don't live up to the standards. And again, just like expectation, it's really important that as leaders, we live up to the standards ourselves in addition to holding other people to them. An added benefit of putting all this thought into our personal brand and following through on it is that we're setting exactly the kind of example we want our team to follow and live up to when they go out and do their jobs every day. So the short version of all of this is that we all need to decide what kind of leader we wanna be, how we wanna be seen as a leader, and how we're going to live up to the values, expectations, and standards we place on ourselves. Only then will our colleagues perceive our personal brand in the way we intend. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you know someone who could use this video, please forward it on to them. If you have any comments or questions, slide into my DMs, I don't mind. Go out and do great things today, make an impact, and keep developing your leader's mindset. Onward and upward.